Uncensored. And welcome and thank you for joining us for the second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. A disturbing report from a Catholic church in Missouri. One of their priests has been found guilty of soliciting sex during a confession. A confession. When you go into that box, that priest has been identified as Father Ignacio Medina. The Jefferson City Diocese received the report back in 2022. Now, Church, Bish Church Bishop W. Sean McKnight has since released a statement you're seeing there saying, quote, I want to be clear that sexual solicita solicitation during confession is a sacrilege and a crime in our church and a grave form of abuse. It cannot be tolerated. Joining us to talk about it tonight, pastor and journalist Dr. Ruth Allen Olson. Does this only further hurts? the Catholic Church's image in the country around the world. It hurts the church's image. I have long uh, believed that the Catholic Church is on blast, but we all have to be careful in the churches. I'm also concerned about that statement where he said, in the statement that we just read, mm -hmm. he said that it is, it will not be tolerated in confession. It, the solicitation shouldn't be tolerated. Period. At all, mm -hmm. period. So. And, and, and looking at the facts of the case, what do we know about it, Dr. Ruth? What happened there? Well, it sounds like someone went in, uh, they have these uh, boxes where normally the, the person is obscured. Yeah, and, and so with I've the never, screen yeah, or what have you. I've never been in one, but I've seen them. And uh, the person was confessing in, about a situation. Perhaps they had done that. That would be normal. That's what a confession is. And the priest is to listen to that, mm -hmm. but not to solicit. Right. I mean, when you're confessing something, and we all have to do that sometime. That's that is your most vulnerable yeah. moment. You're yeah. opening everything up yeah. to this person mm -hmm. who you think is a man or a woman of God. You came for help. Yeah. And you got hurt again. And, and it, it's a wolf. It's terrible. In sheep's clothing. Yeah. It's terrible. Uh, it's inexcusable. There is a priest penitent privilege. And I, I, I always tell the people who are associates with me or uh, ministers and so forth, is that the, the, the imbalance, there's an imbalance of power when you're counseling a person. You're a preacher, a pastor, a priest. And this person is coming to you about anything. You don't take advantage mm -hmm. of the vulnerability of a person. God loves these people. God loves his people. And I think it's time for us to have some good old-fashioned fear of God. Uh, or for, for it, God didn't ask me, but for something to happen mm -hmm. when this kind of, of thing happens to people. It's no. deplorable. Is there anything, because the biggest offender, and we know it, because it's the largest organization, the Catholic Church, what can be done about that? What can the Pope say? What kind of action should the Pope take to ensure that this doesn't happen anymore? But, you know, we have humans, man involved, and man. You know what I think? I think the Pope, the people, everyone should to say, if you feel that you have been abused or you're being abused, tell it. Tell it now. Be loud about it. Mm -hmm. I say that from the pulpit. I say to the, to, uh, to the young people, to anybody, if you feel like you're, if anybody approaches you, you say, I'm going to go tell Pastor Ruth. Just, 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 just open it up mm -hmm. because when it's no longer undercover, then people are going to think twice about abusing people and hurting people. And if no one is listening to you at your parish mm -hmm. or at your congregation, what would you suggest to them next? Where should they go after that if there's a protective shield around the religious leader there? Tell a trusted friend. Tell another uh, religious leader. Tell your family, but tell. Uh, I, I actually can speak from experience that this is a terrible situation to be in because you don't feel like you have the words 
to say. You have embarrassment on top of pain. And, you, and, the, and, the, and the victim can wonder, now, what did I do? What's wrong with me? Right. This is a well-respected, anointed one in the community. Who's going to believe me? And, of course, with this pastor also, he was accused and convicted of stealing $300,000, transferring $300,000 from the parish fund to his own personal account. Again, uh, it, it's a terrible thing. It makes it tough, all these things. I, I, was, I was driving here, I was, thinking, I was saying, someday Isaiah is going to invite me and we're going to be talking about the church and everything is going to be good. That's not today. Not today. Mm -mm. <laughs> Maybe not down today. the road. Yeah. We'll see, Dr. Ruth. Okay. Always good to see you. God bless.